All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to the next episode. I'm really excited for this drop because it shows the how to's behind selling. You know, it always bothered me and this might trigger a lot of people, so I forgive you off the bat. But here's the deal, there's a lot of sales trainers out there that have never even sold one solar account in their life. And it's crazy to me because, you know, I had to walk the walk for 15 years to have the validity to get on this cam, behind this cam, to teach you guys the art of selling and the how-to's. There's a lot of frauds that say they can train with sales. I'm calling you guys all out right now. Post just one video of you going through an entire transaction, just one. So on this next episode, you guys are about to meet my good friends that I met in the field, Francine and Remy. Uh, two unbelievable individuals that we were able to help get involved with solar. They are no longer at the mercy of the power company. In this episode, I really want you to watch everything, the tonality, the voice inflection, the body language, the questions. We go through the entire set, the entire close, and the day of the install. Congratulations to Francine and Remy. You guys are now powered by the sun. The sun goes up, the bills go down. Get it underway. Very quickly, these guys are all just training today. Are you Jehovah? What? Are you Jehovah? For who? Jehovah. Jehovah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually here to uh, convert your religion, politics, and sell you a vacuum cleaner. I'm just kidding. <laughs> None of the above, I promise. <laughs> Nor am I here to talk to you about uh, uh, Trump or uh, uh, Joe Biden or any of that stuff. So I know it's a heartbreaker. Yeah. Um, how are you, sir? There was a veto that got passed. Yeah. You guys are Vermonters? Well, uh, this is my home now. What, what part of Vermont did you live in? Uh, I live in Newport. Vermont. Newport? Newport. Which is near? There be the border. Okay. Near New Hampshire? Yes. Okay. Well. Kind of. I lived in Dover. Okay. By Mount Snow. Yeah. Yep. But I'm a, originally I'm a mass hole. <laughs> and yes. um, he's a maniac. He's from Maine. Maine. So. But what I was explaining is DeSantis vetoed a bill because he tried raising our rate for a third time this year. And people are like sick and tired of watching their electric bills go up. Okay. So we've had a ton of inquiries because families have been now receiving the electric bill from that says do not pay. They're not actually having to pay electric bills. These families that have been putting up the little windmills or like the solar panels that you see a lot in Vermont yeah. too, they didn't win the lottery. They didn't take money out of their checking account. What happened was they introduced this new technology where the panels are now very low profile, okay. kind of like pieces of glass on the roof. And the new program would allow you to own your power. The sun goes up and the bills go down. Right. What we did was we conducted imagery of all these homes just to figure out which homes like get the most sun. And obviously if your house was covered in trees, like there's nothing we can do, but mm -hmm. these houses are a little bit more spread out. So is this house number or when was the home built? Last year, a year ago. All right, cause look, I'm pulling eight right here, which must be them. Them, yeah. So this is your house right here, which isn't on the map, uh, yeah. but you can see it's similar to them, okay. where you get the sunlight all on the front side and the sides. Most of your morning sun hits like from right here, uh -huh. so you get sunlight on the home the entire day. Yeah. What we would propose is utilizing your roof as a power plant rather than you paying all these ridiculous fees mm -hmm. to the utility company where you would actually start saving money immediately. Right. The big question that we get from families is how much does this cost out of pocket? Yeah, right. If we can utilize you as a model home and you're comfortable with me keeping one of the little blue signs in the yard, uh -huh. you let me use you as a reference and don't brag to the neighbors. We pay all the upfront costs, the installation, the labor, the engineering, all the Everything? Per all you're responsible for is paying the lower fixed amount for your power. So right now, if this was to indicate your situation with that you paid them 150 a month, mm -hmm. the family that we were able to help in this situation, their new monthly payment for their power is 100. It will never increase. This 150 will continue going up. Instead of 1,800, um, you know they'd have a fixed amount of 1,200 a year they pay for power. Mm -hmm. Instead of a zero dollar tax credit, they got a tax incentive. They'll never see their rate go up again. And eventually they'll own that system because they're taking the money and putting it into a piggy bank the same way people own things rather than paying a landlord. And in this family situation, they were saving about $51,000 
and the average home in Florida saves about $66,000 by having their power on site. Mm -hmm. But solar's has been so expensive. So what I do is I go through these questions, they're called can we pay questions. These determine whether or not we choose the home as a model home, and right. those are the 10 pillars of reasons people go solar. Now bear with me. For me, if somebody just told me all this, I'd say it either makes sense because I know, and I've noticed the other people that have solar in their houses, yeah or it sounds way too good to be true. What's true. the catch? Yeah, that's the catch. The catch is simple, you ready? Right. Why'd you pick? Because I, I just moved here. I didn't have nobody else. And plus, I don't think you can get anybody else. That's it. You can't pick another option. It's like if there was only but one. I remember calling. I, I could, yeah. there was nobody else There's, going through here. That, and same in Vermont. It's Exactly. You don't have a second option as far that's as who right. you pay right. for the electricity. Yeah. So what, what our proposal is, is we put together a system design based on your usage and if I can actually shift a liability to an asset or renting to owning and you're not paying anything out of pocket and it actually appreciates the value of the home and it sounds like if you just bought the home you didn't you, you wouldn't have built this and rented it from somebody no like you wouldn't go no, I bought the home. yeah you would never rent a home yeah. so I want to actually ask you like if you were planning on getting an electric car or another go car a golf cart or something like that I have to look at how much power. No, you I'm use. not getting another electric car. All right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one's all electric right here. So. Yeah. It's uh. You guys thought back. You remember the movie Back to the Future? Yeah. That's like you know the DeLorean that uh, car. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of how those windows go up right uh -huh. there. How many months have you lived in the home? A year at least. I've been here over a year. Okay. If you have one of your most recent. Uh, electric bills, I would look at a chart on the left hand column and it'll show me your high bill compared to the low one. I don't know if you have a paper bill or if you do it, no. if you pull it up online, like yeah. if they do it. They me. If, I'll you, have, check. if I'll you have a paper one, that's going to help me. How long have you guys been married? What was it? Five years. I was, he told me he was from Canada, I was just up there, they had me play goalie in the, in the net. And uh, it was the hardest thing I ever had to do, they just kept scoring on me, you see? I was a little goalie too. Yeah, it was hard. And, and they all too, too. <laughs> they What's that favorite? What's that favorite food up there? I forget. It's it's like, that's what it is. It is. You can have some here. Where? There's two places. There's two places here. Yeah, Florida. Uh, they do, they make good poutine. Uh, yeah, poutine. Dania. and uh, there's one. Is it? Fort Lauderdale, is it? Fort Pierce. Somewhere. Fort wow. Pierce, somewhere about that. Hmm. And, uh, That's gone up since last year. Oh, it definitely has. It just had a 30% increase. Let me check one thing. All right, email address. Tracing. So what it's going to do is it's going to produce a system design for me. Mm -hmm. Phone number. 802. Yeah, you got any bugs right now? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm sitting here getting crushed. Do you yeah. still drive this thing around? Yeah, yeah. You still drive your motorcycle around? That's mine. Oh, that's yours? Yeah. You rip it? <laughs> No. You don't rip I it? I You behave? Yeah. You don't get any two speed. I have to sell everything. Mm. <laughs> Out of 1958. Mm -hmm. Holy. That was one night. I have an electric go. motorcycle, an electric car. I have an electric lawnmower. I'm electric, <laughs> full electric. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm full electric. I just think it's like a better way to power my, power my, you know, my stuff because I just eliminated a bill that I would never ever have to cancel, you know? So all I'm doing right now is just uploading this to our design right. team, and they're gonna figure out how many kilowatts to make an even array on the system. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna just create a chart for you and show you both situations. Um, but like the best way for me to always put it for people is, it's money that you're gonna end up either giving away to or you're gonna have as an asset. Like it's like renting a pool or owning a pool or right. owning a home or renting yeah. a motorcycle. What I can do is if this system, I don't know if you want, if there's a small corner of a table, we can put our stuff down. Yeah, we can. I can do it right now if you have, because I'll get the design back in 10 minutes. Otherwise, I don't know if it's bad timing for you, but I it can. It is, but, well, his table's up there on it. They're probably going to drive in with a, you know, another wheelchair and. <laughs> yeah. If you guys want, I could come see you guys in the morning if, if that works better. So you yeah, guys, probably, can, huh? I want to both sit down with you guys and really show you guys the right, apples exactly. to apples comparison. Like, like I said, I, this isn't like a driveway decision. I want to sit down, show you everything, and really uh, plan well, out. You this. can come see me in the morning. And we can discuss it.
Yep, let me take uh Dad, are you coming through here again tomorrow? Yeah, I have a bunch of people I gotta to see tomorrow. All right, so that'd be fine. I'll be home. Who and is it because I'd like to explain it to both of you. I don't know if it's if you're the main um if you're um, the main yeah, okay. All right, so I just requested the design. It's going to take me a little bit. I just want to... Um, because this is going to be a biting thing here. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll walk away with a bunch of bites. Let me just... Camera, photo, boom, boom. All right, I'm done with that. All right, and so, how about we discuss everything in the morning? Yeah, what are your time zones that you're available tomorrow? Because I have... Um, I've got a meeting with a family at eight in the morning i've got another one at nine i've got another one at ten and i think the earliest i could see you is like 11 That's 11 30. all right i'll just write it make sure i'm here 11 11 30. yep i might bring the maniac with me because okay. he's good at engineering and okay. uh can i check out your bike real quick sure you interested in buying a bike yeah actually i am this one um, I'm, I'm telling Amy I was going to decide by the end of February. So How much are you looking for it? Well, I have electric though. That's a 2019. Can I sit on it? Yeah. That's a 2019. <coughs> okay, if I want. Can I step on this? Yeah. I can step on this yeah. one? Yes. Can you guys picture me selling solar through turf like this? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> okay, there you go. Now you're going to have a picture. Alright, here we are in florida and uh we're off to go rip some solar <laughs> rip, rip, see <laughs> wow this thing's comfortable huh yeah, it is. you lean back when you ride it i got long arms so i do like that you know yeah. that oh are these for the yeah yeah, yeah. oh man. wow <laughs> yeah that's what my my, both my parents are I always say that just no bugs, just flies. Hey, you know that thug, you know that like thug one? That's like <laughs> So yeah, it's just I'm, like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna decide ne next Is it an automatic or you have to shift? Yeah, you have to shift it. And yeah, it's pretty well, easy to learn. Feet. Yeah. But it doesn't tip, it's impossible. No, right. Those one. My wife's like ninety nine pounds, she could look fit on the back of this perfect. All my neighbors would be upset. I'm the youngest person that lives in my neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Well, I will see you tomorrow about 11, 11.30. Yeah. And then just hang on to this for me. Um, this is going to be the form I fill out with you tomorrow. Um, that I'm just going to fill out what your situation is with. I'm going to show you what the new situation would be, owning your power and producing it on site. Those are the 10 reasons people go solar, and then obviously you're owning it and you know the peace of mind behind you know, protecting your race. Got a couple new bug baits tonight, and you know, we're good to go. That's nice to meet you. So, there we go. All right, so, um, if you think of anything, uh, I'll be here tomorrow at about 11, 11.30. I'm going to have a lot of questions. Write them all down for me. That's what I want. speak French. Oh, I got some French. Voila. Yeah. That's all I know. Two more brother are coming up. Awesome. Well, I'm waiting for them. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Nice right. meeting you guys. Have a good Take night. Care. Morning. Less <laughs> bugs out today, huh? Mm -hmm. Way less bugs out? Yeah, the bugs out. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> So I want to take a quick look at the roof really quick because okay. I did a quick design last night. And uh, is this an even? This is even, correct? Do you think? The sides? You said the roof's about a year old, right? Yeah. It's okay. The house is Perfect. built well, maybe two years. I put together a couple different designs to show you, but this side of the roof is a little longer than that side, right. huh? By just a little bit. All right, cool. Um, if there's just like a small corner of a table, I can put my stuff down and make it a little well, easier. Back, uh, Perfect. Like yeah, whatever works for you guys. <coughs> yeah, Do you need me to take off my shoes? No. All right, cool. Yeah, this works. So kind of lay this all out. Does he want to come in too, or? I don't know. I got gotcha. you. Mama, let me speak French. Okay. Oh, you speak French too? Yeah, of course. How'd you learn? My parents really? spoke French. Wow. But I went to, I, I was born in the U.S. In Vermont, though? Yeah. And did you go up to Canada a lot? Yeah, I have relatives here. And how did you and your husband meet? West Palm. Oh, yeah? Who, right. winked, who winked at who first? <laughs> we didn't. We played cards. We were playing cards. What kind of cards? Uh, cribbage. 
Trevis, you ever played Gin Rummy? Yeah. It's a fun game. Rummy. Yeah, did you want to sit outside? No, I got, the table's wet. Would you want to sit in the maison? Yeah, he'll come in here. Cool. Well, I don't understand so long. I tried to look it up. This one. Good yeah, too. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it to you everything so simple enough because okay. the confused mind always says no. I'm gonna explain it to you as if there was a seven year old sitting here. Just make it so clear. Right. And very simply, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out what your situation is gonna be with here uh -huh. and then I'm gonna lay out what your situation with solar would be here right. and you know ultimately you end up saying yes to something if you end up saying yes to the solar you're saying no to you say yes to you say no to solar okay we can take all the emotion out of this and make it very logical to see hey which one do you think is better I'll show you the design of where the panels would be laid out and really kind of break it down for you. Mm -hmm. um, while we're waiting for him to come in, the basic of how the grid works is this is Georgia right here. That's where the coal is burned. Mm -hmm. The coal goes into the utility, which then actually goes to the power, power, like the power lines out on the road, and then it comes to the house. 25% of the bill goes to Georgia because that's where the coal is burned or originated. With solar, what's happening is this power is produced on site, so you're not paying any of these ridiculous fees because the sunlight's being absorbed by the panels. Mm -hmm. It's converting the actual sunlight into electricity, and now the meters start spinning in the backwards direction where you're starting to stack up the credits. Like I mentioned, it's just an apples to apples comparison. I show you what it's gonna be over time with the utility compared to obviously solar. In Florida, obviously, we're talking about a pretty big savings over time mm -hmm. because, you know, if you add up your average bill and, you know, the average person is going to save about $60,000 in a 20-year period compared to owning something rather than renting. Right. And we just had dealt with 30% of increases in bills in Florida. That's why we're in the top tier of, like, the dark green okay. of what we pay for power. What is the program from the government? The program, the, door? Yep, the program from the government is what I'm explaining to you. This is your ex incentive, your incentive meaning it's true ownership. What it is is the federal tax incentive. How that works is 30% yeah. of the system total cost goes back to you. That's based on federal income tax. Mm -hmm. I'm not an accountant, but I am a solar tax professional. So I'm going to tell you, one, if you have taxable income, two, if you pulled out of your 401k, for example, if you had money in a 401k, you're getting taxed on that when you pull right. it out. Um, any sort of stocks, any sort of taxable income, oh, yeah. you have five total years to claim the tax credit. So if you don't claim the full tax credit in year one or year two, that's fine. You have five total years okay. to claim it. Sometimes people claim a little bit at a time, and I'll show you exactly what. Well, I don't. I, I don't have any of that. So you don't have any of that. Then yeah. you then then you either wouldn't get the tax incentive, right. or three years from now, Uncle Sam might say, "Hey, you have to give us this amount of money." Oh well, instead of giving you the money, I'm using this tax credit, just to kind of explain it to you that the tax credit is not something that people don't go solar for the tax credit. It's just like a cherry on top. Mm -hmm. um, that that's something that will benefit you. Now, what did you think your true average was again? I have it pulled up, but the, the true average of what you pay to the utility company right now? I'm gonna pull it up. Yeah, I think it's outside, it's still outside. <laughs> <laughs> the bill? <laughs> yeah. I have it pulled up here, just, I'll pull it up, see what it says. Sometimes it's just like, you know, I just like to see what people think they're paying. So th this side would be like the utility and that side would be like the solar. But I'm going to lay out your exact situation here in a second. And then like as far as like the installation, we do something called an 86 point checklist. So we really take our time with doing the install um, and the quality of it. So this bill was mm -hmm. and you're probably averaging like that's what I'm guessing. Right. Okay. So because this portion of the roof is a little bit, um, you can see the portion of the roof yeah. right here is a little bit shorter. That's the way that I did the design. I did a total of panels right here. I did panels on the east. I did panels on the back because there's no shade. And then another total panels here. So that system will produce you.
kilowatts. Mm -hmm. So this is going to give us a total of kilowatts uh, per month. So the way they did the math on your utility bill is dollars is what your true average is that you pay right now for power. Fair. Obviously, there's a hundred, there's a fifteen percent increase that happened start of January third. So the next bill you're gonna see will probably be like range mm -hmm. just because of the rate increase. But just for simple math, I'm gonna base it on a. Okay. Um, you're giving the utility company roughly a year in rent. Mm -hmm. um, you get a hundred percent of your power coming from the utility. You don't get any added home value staying with. You don't get any tax incentive staying with. Right now, the rate goes up. On average, of five or seven percent per year, the last two years have been fifteen percent. Right. So if I take hundred dollars and just show you the math in a ten-year period, it's plus inflation, mm -hmm. just paying them twenty plus inflation or plus inflation in that time period. Which I know a lot of people are like, I'll never be living in the home in thirty years, but the solar panels will still be here. Right. The panels will still work. So. This is just what your situation is staying with the utility company. Mm -hmm. Now, what I do is I'm gonna go over these questions with you. I wanna answer the questions you have and then show you kind of the main reasons people like the idea. And then I'm just gonna fill in this side of the chart, which is gonna show us what it will be with the utility, with the solar. So I always tell people, thank you for giving me the time. First off, I'm glad we're not getting bitten by bugs in here because last <laughs> night I got a couple bed bites. I always try to keep this somewhat exploratory, meaning my job as a professional is really just to show you both situations. Okay. I'm a consumer. When I put myself in this sort of situation, I don't want to deal with a used car salesman. I don't want to deal with a long drawn out process, but I do want to deal with somebody that understands it. I don't want somebody that doesn't know what they're telling me just to give me an answer to give me an answer. Mm -hmm. So um, these questions I go over um, ultimately determine whether or not we pay the upfront costs. The upfront costs like the installation, the engineering, the permitting, the labor, which is typically the expensive part of going solar. Right. So what we want from you is we want to be able to use you as a reference point, which gives us credibility. Non-disclosure, if the neighbor asks to say you're part of a special marketing program, we got a pretty good deal. The sign in the front planner for the first three months after the install, so that when we market in the area, we're able to say, hey, I don't know if you noticed the house on the corner, they have the newer technology. And then after the installation is complete, we ask to fly a drone above the home and we can use that for like marketing purposes. Okay. Like if we throw a video on Facebook and your video is in it and 10 people call from the neighborhood to go solar, you do not get any money from that video. Okay. The way we're compensating you is by paying all your installation fees and upfront costs associated. So the first question is in the past five years, has there been a product or service that has led you to be vocal about your satisfaction? Meaning do you think if a company went above and beyond for you and did everything they said they were going to do, put you into a better position, you owned your power, you paid less on a bill that you weren't going to cancel and you owned it all and you were really happy. I'm not saying would you go knock on people's doors, but if people saw it and were walking down the street and you were hanging out outside and they're like, what do you think of the solar and you really like it, would you give them feedback? Like kind of the way word of mouth is. So you're going to send people to look at it? Uh -huh. Nobody will come to look at it, it's just more so that like, it's kind of like a billboard in the neighborhood right. because the panels are on they'll the roof. They'll ask us. They'll ask you. And it's just like, if you're happy with something and- you tell, them, you tell them if you're happy. Exactly. And that's the big thing we want is the word okay. of mouth. Right. Now, number two and number three are the two most important things. And if I can get you to understand this and this, I think you'll go solar. If you don't understand it, I don't think you'll go solar. So normally with the electric company, they can raise their rate at any time. Right. The best part about going solar is the rate can never increase by more than 2.9%. So okay. if I show you that your fixed payment for the solar is 100 bucks a month, year two, it's not going to jump up to 130, 140. It will only go up to 102.90. Right. The year after that, it'll only go up to 105.40. So it's a capped at 2.9% escalator. Okay. Now, one of the cool parts about being a model home is we'll exempt you from that and put you into a 0% escalator. Okay. So the number I'm going to show you here in 10 minutes would be the same amount you pay for power seven, eight years from now. There's no increase on that number. It's a fixed amount like a gym membership rather than seeing, oh, the price keeps going up. We're like a cable bill. They don't tell you, hey, you watched more TV last month, so you have to pay us extra. It's just a fixed amount. I want to know who's paying for the panel. 
Okay. You guys are paying for the panels with a redirection of what you would have paid to the utility company. So I'm shifting this away into this and the fixed amount that you're paying is going to, you're not paying this and that. We're getting rid of this to put you into this situation. So you're paying for the panels with no upfront cost by redirecting the money you would have given to Duke. It just instead of sending that money to Duke now, you're sending it in for something you own and Duke isn't going to be charging you because all the kilowatts are being produced from your roof. Mm -hmm. So that's the way that that works. And then obviously you built this house. You didn't build it, you, like you wouldn't have moved into a home and rented it from a landlord, right? Yeah. Okay. So. You well, chose. I didn't build it, but I bought it built. But but why would you have bought something and owned it? Why wouldn't you have rented this place? Because you're losing money. And it's the same concept you with... You might as well be burning your money if you're renting, right? And, and that's the same concept that's happening with the electric company. Mm -hmm. Because if the, if the fact was that you bought this home with solar panels and you had a fixed amount and you knew it would never go up and I came yesterday and I said, pulled up in the car and I said, hey, I work for... Let's rip off the solar panels. You guys start paying more and we can raise your rate at any time and you go back to renting. It's like if I pulled a checkbook out and said like, I'll buy your house from you. You guys can continue living here. You just need to cut me a check every month and I'm your landlord mm -hmm. and I'll only raise your rate twice a year. People aren't gonna do that. Right. So it's the ownership aspect, having an asset and producing the power rather than consuming a liability or rent. Obviously if this is more and this is less, there's really no way that I can hurt your situation. It's just whether I can get you qualified and the utility company accepts the application. Right. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't read, and I was just kind of get ahead of it beforehand, is if we cannot utilize the money that you give to the utility company to fund the project, we don't pick the home. And if your current utility denies your application, you're stuck with the current situation mm -hmm. that you guys are in. And that kind of breaks down the utility. And that breaks down, obviously, owning something and going solar. Okay. This is the breakdown. Zero out of pocket. You add equity. It says 26% tax credit. It's actually 30 because it was increased. The warranty production guarantee. Own your power. You eliminate fees. You have the fixed payment. And then, obviously, it's better for the environment. Fine print states that if there was any shade, structural, or permitting problems, we have the result to disqualify and also the utility company has the right to disqualify. So the system... So this goes with the utility... Our, our well, what happens they is... They have you, to approve you, it? Yeah, because the meter needs to spin backwards. <coughs> you still get a statement from them, but the idea is that when you pay your electric bill every month that you're not buying any kilowatts from them because it's all being produced from the sunlight that hits the roof every day. Okay. And as far as your tax incentive, you don't have any sort of federal income tax. Okay. Do you have any sort of 401k? Okay. So you're not getting taxed at all from your income. Okay. And you're not getting taxed at all on income either. Okay. okay this is only in my name anyway. Okay. Yep. That's fine. I just want to make sure because what's going to happen is there's going to be a, a, a tax credit. So I'm going to my tax in Canada. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. All right, so let me just pull up the design. Should be about two seconds. Oh, wait, unless I want to mail it to something. Yep. Yes. Mass okay. millions. That's not what happened. You ever go up to Burlington? Vermont? Yeah. Burlington, Vermont? Yeah. I've been there. You've never been to Burlington? What about Quebec yeah, you've City? Been, you've been to yeah. Burlington. Have you been to yeah, Quebec? Burlington, yeah. How about Quebec City? Yeah, yeah. I, live, I live about that. I went to Quebec City. 20 minutes. I live on the south side of Quebec. Yeah. Just in front Before of you the, across the bridge. Just in front of I went to that big like castle thing they have. Yeah. That's a, to walk back. Yeah, that's where I stayed. I live. What the half an hour? Not, 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 not even a half hour, 20 minutes. 15 minutes, 20 minutes from there. You, you are going to answer yes to the next question you did not know I was going to ask you, but the answer is yes. You're on a fixed income, right? Yeah. Okay, good answer. I'll tell people to answer that one. Typically, like as far as the upfront costs, those completely get waived. There's not like a single, like, you know, nothing. Like we're not charging you anything as far as that. So what it broke down was that your current utility bill dollars okay. right now. That's what your average is now. Yeah. With inflation, we predict that that will jump to on 3% increase a year. So obviously the prices are increasing way faster than 3% a year, but if 
at a manual point, that bill will eventually become dollars a month. That's mm -hmm. based on a 3% increase. If they start doing these 15% increases, that dollars comes a lot faster. Right, then you're talking about um, Exactly, uh-huh. So right now, if you do nothing, your your cost of doing nothing with the power company is dollars. Mm -hmm. That's how much you would end up paying. Thousand for power with the utility company. Within twenty five years. Within twenty five years. Uh huh. Years. That's what you would end up uh, paying them for power over time. So the way that we set this up is we did a design which would produce. KW. So that's the actual system design. You can mm -hmm. see the panels on the front, yeah. back, side. And then the way that it would work is your federal tax incentive, which you have five years to figure that out. I'm going to show you what it is if you do not get it, okay? But the tax credit would be up to dollars that you would be eligible for for five years. Okay. But I'm gonna pretend that you do not get this tax credit. Right, let's okay. just pretend let's that pretend you, let's pretend that you don't get it. If you get it, it's dollars. So with this specific system, your fixed payment towards owning the system would be, that would be your fixed payment towards ownership. You would have a zero dollar down payment. Now your first 18 months, what we do is obviously you're a model home. It's just one of those things that your your fixed payments, but your first 18 months we reduce it to dollars per month. So mm -hmm. months one through 18, you're going to get your electric bill at dollars. Okay. Now if you took the dollars, you figured out a way to get the tax credit, and you said, hey, I just want to apply it into the system. Let's say if you were to do that, your fixed payment would be if you got the tax credit and applied it into the system. Mm -hmm. So pretend that you don't get the tax incentive, the fixed payment is but the first 18 months, no matter what, your fixed payment would be it doesn't increase. And then moving forward, it's a fixed payment for the solar system and your down payment is zero. Now the gross and net system cost of what you would pay over time is the total system um, cost over the 25 years would be minus the tax incentive. So your net system cost would be. Mm -hmm. So it's like with no inflation, which is really the side is what you pay for power. And it, let's say you didn't get the tax incentive, your total investment would be with the incentive, you know, regardless. It's just this side, you own it. So like what a lot of these flippers are doing, the people that flip homes, is they'll buy a home with the solar because they market it as a home without a power bill. Okay. So that's a big benefit so that, too. That, that. So is this like a payment system? Are they still going to go through? Nope. So still going to send you a statement like um, as far as the statement from them but you're buying all your kilowatts and the goes to the solar uh, to the solar installer so every month you just like the first 18 months a month is what you're going to pay for power okay. so in the first year and a half you're going to see some savings and that's it there's really no more there's no less um, what I have to do is I do have to verify that you're on the deed of the home you don't have any like arrest warrants in Vermont or Canada or anything like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, they verify that you have a decent credit score. They have to make sure that you're above a 600 at a bare minimum. Mm -hmm. And if they say that, you know, that you are approved, the next step is I'd have to take a few photos around the home today, like mm -hmm. of the roof of the main panel. But Where are you putting the bed? The battery for the, for the, the system. Yep, so the inverter is placed on the side of the home. It's called an M phase IQ8 plus inverter. Um, it's a micro inverter. Um, what happens is the, the excess energy is not stored in the battery, it's stored in the meter because the meter is going to start spinning in the opposite direction. Okay. okay. Now, um, what happens is that inverter is going to be placed next to the meter on the side of the home, unless your meter is in your garage. I'll be, I'll be it. Um, basically, like, probably this, and then, mm -hmm. roughly, so it's like I a thought you needed a set of batteries. 
Um, no, because we use the inverter to convert the sunlight into electricity. So that's where we would have the uh, inverter placed on the outside of the home. But um, like I tell everybody, this is exactly the way that it is. Right now, you guys donate your a year to the utility company. Um, they don't get any sort of added home value. You're producing this amount of kilowatt or you're buying this amount of kilowatts. This system is going to give you a little bit of extra. Your fixed payment is the, the first 18 months you get a little bit of a break. If you use the tax credit or let's say, let's say you didn't apply the tax credit to the system and you just wanted to get the dollars back from the government, then you could keep the and your fixed payment would save. But it's based on federal income tax, and I'm not an accountant, so I'm, I can't. I'm not going to sit here and say you're getting this, and then you'd be like, "What the heck, Taylor? You said I was getting." This. So that's why I like to tell you, "Hey, pretend that you're not getting the tax credit. If you get the dollar tax credit, you get a certificate, but it's based on federal income tax. But that's what your net system cost would be. That's what the gross of it would be, you know. And then after the system is completely paid off, you don't you don't have a power bill." Um, it's a 25 year warranty, but then also we'll maintain the system similar to a 100,000 mile warranty on a car. Um, but this is what we want out of it. Um, do you have any issue with me using you as a reference? No. Non disclosure of a neighbor asset, say you're part of no. a social marketing program, keeping the sign in the yard for three months. Yeah. Okay. There will be a helicopter that airlifts it onto the roof with neon lights. I'm just kidding. Small. No, but, uh, I'm, I'm, I said an airlifter will airlift a billboard <laughs> on your roof. It's a small little one that stays on the planet. Don't go out there naked, really. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> and then the ask, the last thing we do is just simply ask to keep the uh, small little sign just yeah. right here in the planner. And um, that's pretty much the basics of it. I just have to verify very quickly you're on the deed of the home. I don't need the deed. I just. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on. Okay, so this will pull up really quick. And then the email that you gave me last night, how do you access that email? Is it from your, do you do it from your phone, a tablet? No, yeah. All right, so you are on the title of the home. What is your date of birth? 1955 and the month. And what is the household annual income roughly? I don't need to know exactly, but just the annual income. Okay, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> name of your employer or previous employer. And you're retired? Yes. And when did you start working there, roughly? I want to put uh, 2010. 2010, okay. I had a guy yesterday that told me 1968, and it only goes up to like 1974 on here. So. <laughs> um, do you own the home with a mortgage or free and clear? Mortgage. Mortgage, all right. And this is your primary residence? Yes. U.S. citizens? Yes. Okay. So this is going to just verify um, that I can obviously utilize you as a model home. We cover all the upfront costs. Yeah. Um, what I have to verify is your social. So if you want to type it in right there, um, that's going to run the credit check. And then it will give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If it's a thumbs up, um, I'm going to have Gavin go start taking some photos for me. Um, the only thing he's going to need is the, do you know if the main panel is a 200 amp panel or is it a 150? That's a 200. 200, okay, that's good. All right. And then I'm just going to have you just I think so, yeah. initial in this box right here. You can check, check that out. Yeah, he's going to collect, he'll out. collect some photos and then um, I always tell people no news is good news because it's about a 60 day process. So you don't need to see my paperwork? For the deed? Yeah. Nope, this will tell me right now if you are on the date or not. So Your email is on your phone, so that, that's going to tell us here in a second whether or not you were approved or not. Yep, so you got approved for up to 135000 That just means you have excellent credit. So that's just what you got approved for. Um, like I showed you, the total mm -hmm. amount of the gross system is... And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you this document. What I need you to do is open up your email. There's going to be an email, um, five forms that we're going to okay real quick. The first one should say homeowners association questionnaire. And we're just going to let them know that you are not a part of any sort of homeowners association. So, all right. So this is going to be the homeowners association questionnaire. Basically it's all, uh, going to verify this review document they're just going to make sure that this isn't you're not a part of a homeowners association correct like you guys don't have somebody that you have to pay a condo fee to or anything like no. that okay 
So what we're going to do is just click this. So that's just um, that first form. We're just going to say no. You are not a part of the homeowners association. So I push this. Uh huh. Gavin, if you want to start taking those photos for me, he's going to take a photo of the back of the house, wide angle from the front. So here I agree to use. Um, yep, this is just electronic, so we just click this and then continue. And then once this pulls up, we're going to say no, that this is not a homeowners association. You're not a part of a homeowners association. Okay. Uh, all right. And then you just approve. Draw so whole signature? It doesn't matter, initial. It's just basically stating that you're not a part of a homeowners association. That's the first form. All right. And then that's going to be approved. All right. And then we're finished. And then this will all save to your email too. All right. Always is. And then back to your email, which you can just X out of this, just whatever way that you got to your email. Okay, this is going to be your interconnection packet, which goes to. This is going to be. We always call it follow the yellow brick road, but it's the same click there. Yellow. And then that's your correct email address. Just put that here. And the next. Next, click that box, draw, yellow, yellow, next, up the top, on this one, that one again, the yellow, yep, and then next, and then finish, and that will get submitted to, um, to allow us to interconnect to the meter. I should know in about 14 days whether or not I have the approval mm -hmm. from um, that one you can just exit it all saves to your email anyways. Okay, and then this one. And then this is going to be the install agreement stating obviously you have 25 year warranty, we're maintaining the system. Um, and then the final form is going to show us everything that I've put on that piece of paper. So okay. everything will match up to what I showed you here. So this one we just start, click, 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 and finish. And this will all save to your email as well. Mm -hmm. Here, what, you want to put your number in my contacts? That way I'll have it. I'll have it. You want me to save it under Taylor Solar? Yeah. Okay. Because if you call me and I see a number, I, I won't answer it. There's so many people calling me for the stupidest thing right now. Yep. Yeah. Solar systems too. But, yeah. you know. Well, but yeah. nobody wanted to come see you in person. Yeah. I did. I called somebody last year. So this is um, your your mail. We're gonna pull up again. All right. So completed, completed, be completed. Okay. okay. This is the utility the utility loan document, which is gonna allow us to pay all the upfront costs, and then you know you'd have that fixed payment. So I want to go over it with you once it pulls up. Your total amount that you're paying for the system over time, just like I explained to you, is total amount with the interest and everything your first 18 months your fixed payment every month is going to be automatic it's uh -huh. so the first year and a half your power bill is going to be if you put the tax credit into the system your fixed payment is one on month 19 if you do not voluntarily use your incentive your fixed payment is mm -hmm. so month is what you're paying for power 25 year fixed payment I need you to press that yellow box and then yep, so another yellow 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 we call it follow the older road yeah it's called it yep and then that is your bank information we have to add something on file like your um, the routing and account um, normally does the power bill come the beginning middle or end of the month do you have any preference of like, because these dollars, that can either happen at the beginning, middle, or end of the month. Say. You can have it really whenever some people like different things. So what we need is a check for the routing number. And I just got to write it in. Yeah, I don't need a physical check. I just need to write it into there. So if you have one, we can add it onto the file. Okay. What's that mean? What was that? Authorizing public utilities. That's right. 
Yeah, he, he, the utility was trying to impose additional fees and DeSantis vetoed it because of the financial crunch that's being caused. But they just are, in my opinion, 100% corrupt because they'll just keep raising the rate. So one thing that a lot of people undervalue is five, six years from now, when everybody else's bills four or five hundred bucks, you're not affected by that. Mm -hmm. So two more yellows and then finish up at the top. That will save to your um, phone as well. I always ask this question, and I want you to answer it however you feel, okay? All right. So I'm here with Francine and Remy, and I have one question for you. If I snap my fingers and the solar was all installed on the roof, and you knew you had a fixed payment, it would never go up, and then you heard the doorbell ring, and it was and try to convince you to rip the panels off, and start paying more and they could raise your rate at any time, what would you say? Get out. <laughs> so what if, what if they were like, come on, let's just rip off the panels and we can just raise your rate a couple times a year. Come back to what would you say? What, say what? no. That's a no, that's all. <laughs> they wouldn't do it. You want to say something in French for the camera? What for a foot? Cool. Awesome. That's the that's my favorite uh, my favorite question to ask people because that really makes it hit home. They're like, you know, I would never do that. Yeah. So, understand the steps moving forward that happen uh, that happen from here. What we're gonna do is we will wait to get the notary, which they're working on now. They're gonna call you today. Or they'll send somebody to the house okay. depending on what that situation is. Um, then we're going to have all your engineering reports back. After the engineering reports come back, then we're going to have the permits. Once the permits are back, we schedule your installation. Then the system gets installed. Then the system gets inspected. And then after it's approved of the inspection, then it gets turned on. The sun goes up, bills go down. The first that you're going to get, that's what it showed. You are not going to be billed that until 60 days after the physical installation. That's when your first billing cycle starts. Okay. That gives us 60 days to turn the system on. Okay. So sometimes the system might take 45 days to turn on, sometimes it takes 20 days to turn on. You're going to have to make sure everything is done before the end of April. Uh -huh. By the end of April, <laughs> you're, heading, you're heading up. No, 1st of May. We're heading out on the 1st of May. We got all January, February, March, April. So we got Four months, that plenty yeah. of time, yeah. All right, so you guys are all set. All panels right. on the front, panels on the back. Um, you own it. This is a proper system. It's gonna produce this amount of kilowatts. There's one more part of the agreement we haven't told you guys about yet. That's it. I take a picture with all the families I help, so we gotta take a picture together. <laughs> so, here we will uh, have Gabriel take it. We're, we're taking a photo together. Come on, get in. Come on, get in the photo. I'll hit you. Take a yeti, yeah? There you go. Okay. Jeez. All right. Jeez. Now we do one more, and we do a funny face, and we all point at uh, Remy, and everyone else shirt. stares. You stare at the camera, and everyone's pointing at a shirt with a funny face. Awesome. I got a lot. We, we, these are good photographers. So what what are you gonna do with those those pictures? I just post them to like my friend, my uh, my like you know what I mean, like the people I work with. So like let them know hey, we're out here having fun. So we always just try to have fun with it. All right, well, you guys are pretty good. Hopefully we can get it all set, and um, as long as we can do that, we will. Uh, we will get it all going for you and uh, you know, then you just have cheaper power and you know, that was fixed so you're protecting yourself from inflation. Yeah. Hopefully. So. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. We just gotta wait for the last step. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Oh. All right. So I'm here with Francine and Remy and it's install day today. So now you guys don't have to be at the mercy of the power company. What do you think about that? Sounds good. Sounds good. They're getting the system installed right now. And I guess like, what was like the main reason that you guys decided to go solar? Like obviously you had looked into it before, but you know, what was the main reason that you chose to go solar with me? For lower payments. For lower payments. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And what would you say to somebody that's thinking about going solar that might be a little bit on the fence about it? Like what was the big decision for you guys to be able to? Uh, we'll see that in six months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, exactly. 
Oh, and then I went fishing. You got zero. Zero. What happened was I had zero fish caught, and my buddy had eight. And I was like, I suck at fishing. This is terrible. I started getting all negative. Then I put my headphones on, and I started thinking positive. I caught the biggest fish of the day. It's called a permit. But they're tough. They're tough. They're tough fish to catch. Yeah. Because they're like, you know, all all over the place. So. So guys, how are you? You guys, what kind of pizza do you guys like? Oh. Anything? Do you have any flavors that you like particularly? I'm gonna order pizza for everybody. Oh, you are? Yeah. No, no, I'm all set. You're not gonna eat anything? I just barely had a bacon sandwich. Well, maybe at around 12 or one. I'm gonna order lunch for the installers okay. and then you guys can anything. have some too. My husband loves pizza. Remy, what kind of pizza do you like? Kind of. What kind of pizza do you like? All dress. What kind? All, all dress. All dress. What's all dress? Everything all, on it. Everything, all everything on it. Except anchovies. Oh. All right. Yeah, all except anchovies. So just all dressed. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna order some pizzas for the installers and for you guys too. Um, probably in a little bit though, because it's still kind of early. Overall. I think I forgot. Or not? Right here. He is scared of the dog. Yeah. He's scared of the I dog. I thought it was gonna bite me. I don't know. I've never had a little dog <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, how much, um, how long are you going to be here? Because I'm going to order pizza for everybody. About an hour and a half, I think. Another hour and a half? Yep. All right, what kind of pizza do you guys like? Special. Special? Special? I'll order some like chicken tenders, some, some pizza, a bunch Pepperoni. of stuff for you guys. Yeah, that sounds good, man. You'll be here for like an hour and a half though, right? Yeah, about an hour and a half. All right, cool. I'll order in like 30 minutes and then it'll be here in like an hour. So right as you guys are finishing, sure. you can eat. Thanks, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. So when they say, hey, we're going to drill crazy things into your roof. Yeah. Do you see how we basically just replaced the shingle with that metal piece? Yeah. So that goes right into the truss so it's less mounting into the roof. Okay. Yep. All right, I'm here with my friend Remy from the great country of Canada. He taught me a couple of French words, met him about 40 days ago. Panels are getting installed on the roof. Value of the home goes up. Don't have to pay all those nasty fees and surcharges. Are you excited? It'll be nice, it'll be nice. All right, well, sun goes up, bills go down. See you on the next episode.